Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Ray Lynn. If you have been here for a while, then you probably are wondering where in the world I have been. Well, you see, I've been in a funk lately. I haven't felt like I've had anything to share because I feel like I don't have anything motivating or inspirational or encouraging. And so I was trying to find what I am good at have you ladies ever wondered what you're good at? Only I was trying so hard to figure out what I was good at, only to figure out that I'm not really good at anything. Now I'm not sitting here saying that I'm not good at anything. I just mean I'm not, like, I don't have that that thing, that one thing that, like, I can do really, really awesome. I don't have that. I was trying to find that, but I don't have that. And then I tried to make... <laughs> I tried to turn somebody else's one thing into my one thing. So I went on this whole thing of I would I wanted to be an awesome quilter and learn that and and I could be if I put in the time. But right now in the season of life, I don't really have the time to put into being an awesome quilter. I could be an awesome DIYer, but then I I'm not really good at stuff like that. So I, I was thinking, well, what am I good at? But maybe what I'm good at isn't something that you can really see. Maybe what I'm good at is like a hug that a friend needs or a prayer request that somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, I, I know that you'll pray for me. So will you please pray about this thing that I am going through right now? And, and they know because they know that you will drop whatever you're doing to pray for them or the phone call with someone who is going through something really hard and they just need a shoulder to cry on. Maybe your gift isn't something that you can create or do. Maybe it's how you make others feel when they are around you. I may never be able to make that beautiful quilt or make that awesome DIY, but as long as when people walk away from me feeling better about themselves and their situation than when before they talk to me, I think that would be an awesome thing. I'll call that the best gift in the world. So for anybody else out there who can't find what they're good at, just like me, you, you're good at, you're okay at all these different things, but you really don't have that one thing to be good at, then... Be that hug that a friend needs or that safe place someone can come to when they need a shoulder to cry on. Never underestimate the power of a kind word. And don't be like me and try to get caught up in doing what everybody else is doing and, and make their gift your gift because I learned that that's, that's not how this works. That's not, it's not going to give you what you're wanting and it's not going, you can't shove somebody else's gift on yourself. I learned that the hard way. But whatever it is that you are good at, use it as a way to bless others. Go out and be the hands and feet of Jesus and shine bright in this dark world. Go out and, and if, you, if you don't know what you're good at, then just be that kind, the kindness that this world needs. And that is my encouragement for today. That is, that is what I, on my time away, that is what I figured out. Anyway, I hope you ladies found this video encouraging and motivating and inspiring because after all, that is what my channel is all about. So I hope that you'll watch the rest of this video and it will motivate you to go out and clean something. I don't know about you, but I am not someone who loves doing the whole like spring cleaning on all like taking a week and doing spring cleaning or taking a weekend and doing spring cleaning. Me, I like to break it up. So I try to do it all year long. I may not do it every day. Like I know a lot of people do, they'll take one task and they'll do it every day, a deep cleaning task. Me, I don't do that. I'd probably do it at least I try to do like one deep cleaning thing a week or every two weeks, just depending on, you know, how my busy schedule is or whatever. But let me know what you ladies do. Do you take a weekend or a week to spring clean your house or do you do it like a sprinkle throughout the year? How do you do it? 
because um, I just I feel like it's overwhelming if I if I spend a whole weekend or a whole week trying to like spring clean my whole house. Now, don't get me wrong; it would be nice to have it like everything done all at one time. But but if you do it throughout the year, then you don't really have to spend the whole week or weekend spring cleaning your house. So I just choose one task every so often. Maybe it's every week, every two weeks, or maybe I can get it in every day for a week. I choose one task and I deep clean something, something that needs, that is just like calling my name. And today that was this stove. This stove needed to be deep cleaned for a while and I finally got around to it. Anyways, I hope you ladies are doing well and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I will see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.